This is Surfing Through Cinema. I'm your host, Hawaii Harry. Today I will be discussing the next film for Streaming Through Cinema Week. This is a 1980s film that gets better and better after each viewing. With Jets Galore and Kenny Loggins singing Galore, and A Need for Speed, I'm of course talking about Top Gun. Okay, so some technical details about Top Gun. So, at the Academy Awards, it won Best Original Song for the song Take My Breath Away. And because of this, along with the Kenny Loggins songs, this has become one of the most popular movie soundtracks of all time. And they've sold millions upon millions of copies of it. And it has been a platinum hit nine times over. So this has, <clears throat> so this has some really, really good music in it. Um, it's a, some of them are a little cheesy, but they definitely are one of the best of that era. <clears throat> and compared to its $15 million budget, it grossed $356 million at the uh, box office. So this is a very, very popular movie from the 1980s and totally blew its budget out of the water. It's no pun intended, but it's insane how, how much money they, they made off of this movie. <clears throat> and not just off of box office sales, but also for VHS sales. This is one of the highest grossing VHS tapes as well. Um, you know, the pre-orders of it were over 1.9 million when it was first announced it'd be put on VHS. So this is a really, really popular movie. Another cool technical detail, they actually filmed in jets. So all the major actors in it, um, they had both a stunt pilot for them. But they were also inside of the cockpit as well. So the scenes with them, with a close-up on their face, that's actually them inside of a jet. And that was a really cool feat. They uh, they used what's called the Super 35, what's called the Super 35 millimeter film, because the other lenses, like the anor anamorphic, would have been too big for the cockpit. For the most part, all of the flying, all the explosions, and all of that is real. Um, they did use models here and there, but, you know, for the very unique and crazy shots, but a majority of it is real pilots flying real jets. And that was a very, very impressive feat. And <clears throat> if you watch the behind the scenes on the new Top Gun movie that was supposed to come out this year, but will next year, um, same thing, they they were all inside the actual jets. Um, Tom Cruise really is inside of a... A jet and it's very very impressive the work that they do with this movie that's definitely the highlight of it is the stunt work all right so now we'll get into the plot of Top Gun um, so two friends Maverick and Goose um, they're enrolled into the Top Gun air pilot school <clears throat> and the Top Gun are the some of the best pilots in the Navy so they qualify because one of their friends his name is Cougar um, during a, tr a, a mission, during an exercise, he kind of chickens out and doesn't engage with the enemy. And so he decides to quit because he can't handle, he couldn't handle it anymore. So Goose and Maverick, they were the next in line for this school. So they ended up going there. And like I said, it's a very, very, um, this is like the best of the best for Navy pilots. So it's a very tough school, very rigorous. And it's really cool because they actually got to go to all the naval bases. They got to use actual um, aircraft carriers. They put a lot of effort into the reality of this movie. So as we continue on, um, you know, Maverick and Goose, they're continually training, going up in the ranks. They're in the top five of their class. Um, but Maverick, he's really, really cocky as a pilot. This is Tom Cruise's character, and he gets them into a lot of trouble. Like, he'll do flybys, which is flying next to the air con air traffic control tower without permission. He's, um, very arrogant. He doesn't obey rules, so he's very, very cocky, and that, it lands into a lot of trouble, and 
during one of their training exercises, um, Maverick's cockiness again gets in his way, and um, he and Goose are behind one of their other um, classmates' jet, piloted by Iceman, who's uh, Maverick's biggest rival, and um, all of a sudden Maverick's jet starts spinning out of control, and then they can't regain control of it, so they try ejecting. Then Goose hits his head on the top of the the cockpit, the cockpit lid or whatever, and he ends up dying. And Maverick completely blames himself for this accident. And uh, even though the the Navy determines that it was a training accident and that the aircraft malfunctioned, so it would have been impossible for him to regain control. But nevertheless. He felt fully responsible for the death of Goose, and this has a huge toll on him. He goes through a very depressive state, and he he tries to quit the academy. He uh, he kind of sours his relationship with his girlfriend, who, funny enough, is one of his instructors. It's just bad all around. But he eventually he comes through. He talks with Viper, who's one of the the main guy's in charge, and Viper kind of convinces Maverick to come back. And when he does, he's a lot more careful, a lot more cautious, and he's a little bit more heated. So he's he's pretty shooken up from the accident because Goose was his best friend. Eventually Maverick and Iceman and a few others, they graduate from Top Gun school. Iceman's on top because, like I said, um, Maverick's cockiness got in his way. But immediately they're called to action. There's a there's a ship that they need to rescue who's in enemy territory. So since they're the best pilots, they're going out there to not only rescue the people, but also to take down um, any enemy <clears throat> any enemy fighters that they encounter. And of course they do so, they encounter six. Russian jets versus only three Top Gun pilots, and it's an insane dogfight. Really, really cool effects, and very, very realistic warfare. And um, you know, it's very tense moment. But Maverick, he eventually does come through because he realizes he needs to protect his wingman, who's Iceman. Funny enough, his biggest rival, and they come through. They end up landing back on the aircraft carrier and their friends Iceman and Maverick they finally learn to respect each other and Maverick ends up getting back together with his girlfriend and that's where the movie ends kind of ends um <clears throat> where Maverick decides he wants to be an instructor he doesn't want anything to do with combat anymore probably due to the fact that he had such a traumatic experience with Goose he'd rather be a pilot all right, well, I'm going to go on a break real quick, but first, here's a message from our sponsor. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Here's how. It's totally free. There are tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your computer and even your cell phone, but that's not all. Anchor distributes your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Anchor is everything you need to make a complete podcast all in one small place. So go on and download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Okay, so now we're back from our break. I'm going to get into some critical reviews and my personal reviews on Top Gun. So, Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 55%, stating that there's too little for non-adolescent viewers to chew on. They feel the biggest problem with the movie is it's very, very heavily male-directed, especially towards young teenage boys, and doesn't include a lot of other audiences. Then Roger Ebert, he gave it a 2.5 out of 4, kind of saying the same reason. Um, the dogfights are absolutely the best, but look out for the scenes where the people talk to you, to one another. You know, dogfights were awesome, but again, the acting and the character development was kind of poor. Um, but 
positive review, the Empire, Empire Magazine, it has it as number 455 of their 500 best movies of all time. So, again, it seems that fans of movies absolutely adore this movie, but then critics, actual film critics, um, they don't. They feel it's very, you know, flashy all over the place and not very, not very grounded as a film. And uh, that's pretty much it all around. That's how critics really feel about Top Gun. It's now my personal views. Um, I agree. I absolutely love the dog fights. I loved how realistic they were. I loved the actual fear and danger of it. Because you're like, wait a minute, these are real pilots. These are real jets. So there's some actual danger here. And that was really cool. Um, I didn't have a huge problem with the character development. I thought it was just awesome, really cool. It was never meant to be a super um, pretentious movie. It's just a cool action movie. Um, but I did feel the Navy jargon, there was a little too much of that. And that could have been due to the fact that the actual Navy was helping working on it. It was helping to, to make the movie. So that made sense, but there were some moments I didn't understand what was going on because I'm not in the Navy, so I don't know all the terms that they use. But nevertheless, I still really enjoyed it because it's... It's not meant to be taken super seriously. It's just meant to be a really fun, really cool movie. And um, now character development wise, I actually liked how they had Maverick struggle a little bit. Like they showed that his actions actually do have consequences. You don't see that too often in action movies. You see that the, the actor, the characters, <clears throat> You don't see that too often in action movies. Usually the hero, he just blows stuff up and the only consequence is the bad guy's dead. It doesn't really affect the character as much. So it was really cool to see that, especially when Goose died, he really felt it was his fault. Um, so I think it's a great, great example of the hero's journey. You know, the hero has the, the moment where he's really struggling and he's at his lowest point, but that's how he gets to his highest point. And in Maverick's case, that was being able to make friends with Iceman and also being able to take down those um, Russian pilots, <clears throat> but was also being able to take down those Russian jets. So I thought that was a really cool, very interesting example of the hero's journey. Um, but all in all, I love this movie. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm wearing my Top Gun baseball cap. Um, I actually went to the Midway a few months ago before COVID hit and I got to tour it, got to see the actual jets and you could even see the restaurant for it um, called Kansas Barbecue, I think. And that's the bar that some of the scenes of the movie were filmed at. It's now known as the Top Gun Bar. You could buy some memorabilia, not memorabilia, you could buy some uh, merchandise and you can actually see some of the uniforms, some of the props from the movie in there. And it's a really cool thing. I highly recommend it if you're into, um, if you're really into military history, but also into movie history. Um, but yeah, I, I love this movie. I think it's probably one of the best action movies ever. <clears throat> yeah, but those are my thoughts and feelings about Top Gun. Um, so next time, I'll be discussing the next film for Classic Hollywood Week. Now, this movie, although it was not made in Hollywood, it has had a major impact on the science fiction genre and continues to inspire it to this day. A lot of the techniques from it have been used in all kinds of movies, especially in the Marvel movies and in the Star Wars movies. Um... <clears throat> This next episode will be all about Fritz Lang's magnum opus, Metropolis. Alright, but until next time, this has been Surfing Through Cinema with Hawaii Harry. Take care. Thank you for listening to Surfing Through Cinema. Make sure to check us out on Facebook at Surfing Through Cinema with Hawaii Harry and on Instagram with Surfing Through Cinema. 
We also have a website, www.anchor.fm forward slash surfing through cinema, where you can learn more details on upcoming episodes and on past episodes.